Hello, 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 hello. I am Alicia Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the ideal place for women empowerment, especially when it comes to sister locks and how you could take care of your hair, maintain your hair, just be a little more confident in your choice when it comes to either sister locks, micro locks, or tiny locks. Whatever lock you choose, that is totally your preference. In today's video, I'll be talking all about hair hate. And this is a topic that is so overlooked in the African American community when it comes to hair for African American women. So I'll start with my journey and I am sure that you can relate. When I had my perm, I compared my hair length, right? Then I transitioned from my perm to natural hair. When I got to natural hair, I compared my hair texture, right? My hair's curl pattern, rather it was a 3A, a 3B, a 3C, or a 4A, a 4B, or a 4C. And all of that really impacted me in my level of confidence as far as, whoa, do I like my hair, right? So. I got to a point where I was comparing what my hair texture was and I always used to ask, well, why isn't my hair as long as someone else's hair? Or why is my texture not like that? So when I had my natural hair, and I'm sure you could relate, I tried so many different gels or so many different styles just to make my hair look like someone else, right? And then I come on the sister log journey and it's almost like, okay, well, now it's another comparison. Why isn't my ends as curly as hers? Or, oh my gosh, why isn't my hair as curly as this person's hair? Or why is her hair so much thicker? And I want to say, not just to you, but to myself and everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice, women, we have to stop hating our hair. And not just as far as the textures of the hair, but then hair hate also comes in a way of the styles that we choose. Is it a wig or a weave or crochets or braids? All of those things are correlated with the confidence level of do you like your hair? <laughs> and that's the question. Do you like the texture? that the universe or that God has given you? Or do you say, no, God, I don't like it, right? I want you to really start thinking about things like this. Do you like that God has given you your texture? Do you like that God has given you your length? Do you like that God has given you your edges, right? Because a lot of us, myself included, want our edges to look a certain way. My question is, are you embracing who you are? And I want you to embrace who you are and not be ashamed of your hair. Don't be ashamed of your texture. Don't be ashamed of your length. Don't be ashamed of your journey. And I also want you to think about it in this way. When you are doing your hair hate, what does that say to your daughter? What does that say to the people that are around you? Because you cover your hair, right? Uh, it's almost like your hair is your glory, like how I said in one of the other videos, but your hair is also your story. I've had my locks for six years, and within the six years of time, and I'll just share a little bit of my story, I've had a kitchen fire. <laughs> uh, with these locks, I've had a miscarriage. With these locks, I've had struggles and pain, but also with these locks, I've had great times. I've had happy times. I've had a amazing experience with my children. So within these locks is not only just the glory about it, but it's also that the story that is entwined that I could say, I remember when I cut my hair all off and it was bald and I've gotten so many different compliments. I've also remember so many different things. And I want you to attach your life, right? your story and your journey. And I want you to shape your own particular style because so many people and so many women cover up their glory. Covering up your glory means, God, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> because what if your hair did not grow at all? right? And I know that some people have like uh, different health issues um, with their hair. That, that's, that doesn't, per this conversation doesn't pertain to you. But I want you to think about what I am saying. Because if the universe or God give you something, what do you do with that 
amazing million or $10 million gift, right? Do you just throw it away or do you take care of it? And I want you to use the same thing with your hair. With your hair, so many different people and not to knock anyone, I am just stating the facts. What are the glues doing to your edges? What are the tight braids doing to your hair? I know for myself, because I've experienced where my hair was so like tender in the spot to where my hair wasn't growing. But when I got locks, my hair started to grow back. So I know what it is to have hair that is so tight until you cannot move your head. Okay, so I want you to take pride in your hair texture. I need you to take pride in your hair length. I need you to not be afraid of going through that ugly phase because I've seen where so many people say, I don't have enough patience. And if you've done any of these things, look, I'm just giving what the spirit is giving me. So <laughs> if you've done any of these things, I've seen people where they say, I can't wait six years for my hair to grow. So I'm going to do it instantly, right? Or I'm going to add hair to it. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would say in my journey, having my hair the length that it is and going through the process has taught me some things. Because when I went through the house fire or the kitchen fire, and I had to endure those steps <laughs> that it took for me to go from a burning kitchen to now a newly renovated kitchen when I had to go through things with my children or within my life or within my marriage you just can't jump from a to z and be done you got to go through a b c d e f and g and that applies for the hair because with the different hair lengths you could do different things with the different hair lengths it also it, it brings another level of self-awareness because you can say well i remember when my hair was so short this length and now my hair is this length or whatever length that it is so i need you to take pride into what has been given to you because a lot of times so many different people take everything for granted what if your hair didn't grow what if you didn't have no hair? What if you didn't have no texture? Then you'll be complaining. What if God took away what he has given you? So I need you to stop hating on your hair and stop hating on other people's hair. And I've done it as well. I have retightened someone's hair and their hair was so thick and, and so just so thick. It's just very thick. And I said, gosh, why could my hair be like this? What does that do to your level of confidence as a woman? What does that do to you? Because if it's something as minute as you not liking your hair, then guess what's next? You don't like something on your body. You don't like the way that your hips are, right? That's a whole nother story. You may not like the skin tone. You may not like your lips. You may not like your lashes. You may not like your ears. So it starts from smaller things and it extends out to other areas of your life. But if you finally say, you know what? I love my hair. I appreciate my hair. I love my hair texture. I love what my hair is and I love what my hair represents because my hair, my sister locks for me, represents freedom. It represents a different level of awareness. My hair for me represents spirituality. My hair for me represents growth. My hair for me represents an exercise routine. My hair for me represents convenience, things that I've never been able to do. Now I have time. So instead, I want you to use this mantra and say, I appreciate my hair. I appreciate my texture. I appreciate my length. I appreciate my curl pattern. I appreciate what God has given me. And from this day forward, I want you to say that you are going to take care of your hair because you know what happens when you take care of your hair, you take care of your body. When you take care of your body, you take better care of your family. When you take better care of your family, you take better care of your household. When you take better care of your household, girlfriend, let me tell you, you spend more time with God. When you appreciate smaller things, then it builds up to bigger things. So let's stop the hair hate. 
Let's stop saying I hate my hair. And I want you to love your hair, embrace your hair, love your texture and love who you are. Because when you do all of those things, then guess what the little girl behind you is gonna say? Oh my gosh, I love my hair too. Oh my gosh, I don't need the wigs. I don't need the weaves. Guess what the little girl is gonna say behind you? I love your hair. So this is not a trend. This is not a fad. This is a movement of appreciation. This is a movement of love, self-appreciation of women empowerment. That is what your hair represents. So with the style that you have right now, what are you representing? Think about it. I love you so much. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you will never miss out on any more tutorials or anything like this. And you can find me here on YouTube and find me on my podcast. I'm everywhere, really. So I appreciate your consciousness and you listening to me on today. And remember to stop the hair hate. Love who you are and we'll go from there. Bye-bye.